So here's the initial results of uh, me loading up my Westling uh, socket holders. So generally pretty happy with them, although I found that uh, you can't fit sockets over like an inch and a quarter into the set that's got three in a row. So I kind of uh, wished what I had done was I gotten the uh, a two row probably for my impacts because you're more likely to have bigger sockets for impacts and then just keep the uh, three row for the uh, conventional sockets. And uh, I did get the uh, 3 8 swivels. If you have a, a wide swivel set like this Sun X that goes up to uh, 21 millimeter, you will need to have one swivel set per. And they're, uh, the reason they're swivel is because they're like further spaced apart. Because that would never fit into uh, here, right? Like for the universals for 3 8 So uh, I should have gotten more universal 3 8 an extra set of uh, 3 8 swivel to cover both uh, styles. Aside from that, you're going to find that there's certain set sizes you don't have. Like some socket sets cheat, they'll keep the 7 16 and the 11 joined, kind of like as replacements. And uh, you'll find that you might have a mix of like uh, regular depth sockets and deep sockets. So I've gotten like kind of two sets of hand sockets in here and then uh, a couple different sets of uh, impact sockets. But I'm still keeping my like go wrenches separate like in packages. But like for what I've happened to me is that a lot of my uh, cases are breaking down and you can't carry them around. Then I've got some Sun X stuff. I have extras, so I kind of just pinched what I need needed out of here. And uh, we're gonna spend a lot of money. I'll just say that there were some pins that I found were not quite right in this set. Like over here, this seven eighths pin, it's not machined correctly. The socket will fit in some locations but it doesn't fit here. So I'll probably just try to fix that myself because like if you send that back and what's gonna happen, you're gonna get one that doesn't fit somewhere else. So just deal with it and try not to damage the finish. I need to find a tidy way of putting all of this away. That's gonna be problematic. They do offer uh, driver holders as well. I haven't gotten to too far into that. For Universal, you're going to put your uh, Torx and e Torx in them if you have them. I've got uh, like a five point utility socket here. You got some other stuff. I've got deep and shallow half inch drive stubbies. I tried to go with the mix of three eighths and quarter Universals, and uh, it kind of works to some extent where you've got like a, a bad set that changes sizes. I prefer that they don't change size. I've got a, a few of these universals here kind of tucked in here. And uh, like I said, I kind of recommend going with uh, more sets that are probably too big so that you've got space to put random stuff. I'm gonna have to go to a psychologist and find out why I've got six of these three eight by quarter reducers. I don't know how that happens, but I gotta stop buying those somehow. I gotta train myself to run away when I see them. Nowhere really to put your uh, spark plug sockets. But who uses those anyway? Nah, anyway. <laughs> so that's sort of it. I'll take a look in my toolbox and see what didn't make the cut. But here's my square drive set. If I had more universals, I could have just chucked those all in there. But then they're not really in a little go pack. So depending on what you're doing, maybe you want to keep them like that. Maybe you only touch them once every couple of years so you don't need them readily available. Wheel sockets, uh, not a great spot for them. This style of uh, impact 
socket I would try to avoid. That's kind of lame the way they did that. They should neck them down kind of like these in my opinion. Take a look in here. So I've got all kinds of different sockets of various styles I've been trying to sort out. And then like I, for 12 point sockets, that's a whole other problem if you want to try to organize those because that's going to cost you a bunch of money for a socket you may never use. I've got my various bit drivers in here. And let me know what's in here. All right, more wheel service. And again, you can see I can keep my 12 points kind of in the outskirts away from my real tools. So, uh, if you have a good ratchet, would you really need them? Eh, only if the fastener demands it. And then these might not be strong enough anyway. Then getting into some of the more specialty sockets here. So your oil service sockets aren't going to fit very well. Your axle service sockets. And then these aren't really very big. It's like inch and a half. If you want, you can go to the jumbo size uh, trays that they offer. But even my regular half inch drive, like I couldn't put the 30 on it with the three-way set, with the three wide. But I think that they fit on the two wide set for just like uh, standard and deep. And if you want somewhere to put your O2 sockets, you probably have a couple of them because they're good for more than just O2 stuff. And uh, what else we got hiding here? Yeah, these aren't going to fit anywhere either for oil changes. Oil filter canisters, because they're like a weird size, right? 3 8 drive with giant. Mm. These ones here haven't gotten any action yet. I feel like I bought them for a future project. And then I'm keeping my uh, some of my trays for sockets because like I've got multiples of extra because I buy tools at pawn shops and liquidation of businesses and stuff so I end up with extras. So where it makes sense I keep them. So I guess we're done rambling. We're not going to get into wrench storage because that's uh, another problem to deal with. But uh, and then somewhere I got to find space in my toolbox for this. I kind of I prefer to have like a a small toolbox that I could roll out to the driveway because like these toolboxes aren't going anywhere. They're trapped in here. And uh, could I find space for the sockets in here? I've never had them in here before, so it's a uh, a bit of a problem. I do have some wasted space there for my pullers and brake tools and junk and then drills and taps in there. So, and I don't even have anything for three quarter inch drive for storage. I don't have a, a large quantity of those. Only when uh, I'm in trouble do I need to get one of them. You probably just keep them in the toolbox that they come with. So I think I'm done rambling about this, but if you're if you're going to get the Westling stuff, you can always find discount codes, so don't just run in there and buy them off the hop. I'm not sure what the discount codes are at the moment. I bought these in the uh, spring, and now it's like the fall. So it took me six months to get this far to kind of get stuff sort of started. I do need to put them away. And then keeping them clean when they're out like this is not all that easy either but I'm sure we can figure something out and yeah so the swivel set will go up to like a 32 what happened to that guy 
I guess it didn't quite fit. Maybe it's a 32 and a half, not and a 32 again. So the swivels, like I said, they have bigger spacing, so you can put more interesting stuff on those. At uh, the universals, they're all spaced equally, and then the uh, dimensioned positions are spaced according to what a common socket size might be. So uh, hopefully that's been useful for you. You see this socket here, it ain't fitting there very well. So uh, there will be some quality issues along the way as well. But thank you for watching.